and it has been a minister. Deliverance will deal with strong holes. It's more than just casting out spirit. You can cast out the spirit in case that it comes back the more time you jump. You need to get to the root cause. You need to deal with the strong man. And I cannot deal with the strong man in a service like this for one day. If I have to come back, I need to teach you what deliverance is. By the time I have finished teaching what deliverance is, then we start to make strong hope. Then we know what we are doing. Are we together? So please, don't say, they say in the deliverance service, no. I need time to teach. And need time to pray. And need time to equip you.
Forget about your problems. Forget about what you went through last night or before you left your house. Forget about your bills. Forget about the problems that you have. But allow the Holy Spirit to touch you. Allow the Holy Spirit to illuminate you.
Jesus. That's the Lord you have to do. I've got to pick up the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to humble yourself. 
help you one of you. Like I said, I'm just wrapping up on what everybody, Pastor Martin gave the testimony how he gave himself and how he turned out me. You know, when, when God allows this testimony, it's not just you, just you. It's because God is doing something in your life. And God wants you to identify with that testimony that is given to you so that you also change and He knows that you can change. Hallelujah. So this passage, sad as it is, it simply means we as a church, the members of God's family, we are torch bearers. I said we are torch bearers. We are the herd. We lead the way. Either up or down. Before the Gentiles, 
The Bible says, therefore, since we are gods of spirit, we should not think that the divine being is like gold and silver or a stone, an image made by human design or skills. Verse 13. In the past, God overlooked such ignorance. But now,
that sin. That's why they are what they are today. And that's the reason why Jesus came. He came into this world. And it's very important that we learn from Jesus that he was here on mission. Hallelujah. He knew how to deal with this generation. Hallelujah. When Jesus came, he did not start complaining, whining out, and say how things were bad, or talk about the conditions of his time. Hallelujah. We have to acknowledge that Jesus did not adjust himself to become a part of the Savior that he found. Nor did he enter into the mess that he already found that time. Jesus is that he became different. He brought healing in the land. He became a healer. He became a physician. He says to himself in Luke chapter 4, verse 23, Jesus said to them, Sure, you will come this problem to me. You will see physician heal thyself. <laughs>
to the spirit, they cannot yield to what the word of God says. Because they don't want to get rid of the old man. The problem that you are having, the reason why people are not changing is not because of what the word is because of old man. And that old man is generational. It's generational. That's why there's a new type of grandmother. You can't have a grandmother. The people in your village, they will always say, he can't have his own soul. Why? Generations will be honest. You are saved by the Spirit saying, you can't have your grandmother. Say, you're not a Jewish. So that that grandmother, whoever that they be seeing your family, they'll not see that person anymore in your life. But if you're going to still behave like him, they will still see that there's no chance. Hallelujah. So Jesus became a solution, not a problem. So should we. We should not become a problem. We should become a solution. And not for us, we are a problem. Hallelujah. Jesus was such a great physician. We even still feel this empathy now. God put us here on this earth to be physicians, to be healers. It's not a mistake. You cannot take it seriously. Hallelujah. And stop joining and blending in the mess that we find wherever we are. We like to blend too much. We like to be like the world. The world now, in the beginning, it should be the world wanting to be like us. Now it's us who wants to be like the world. It's not supposed to be that way. To be looking forward to become like us. Even when they were looking for spouses, they would want to marry a Christian. Now that they don't care because there's no difference. What if somebody asked him, What if somebody wanted to be sinners and managed to find their wife? Ah, they will not go to the wife. This is what many people said. They will not go there. They will come to church and look for a wife in church. Oh, and all that you own, the Lord 
bless the household of the Egyptians because of Joseph. The blessings of the Lord was everything put in my head, both in the house and in the field. God was with Joseph. When God is with you, the favor of God will be out. And it attracts a lot of people. And they will want to see and find that is it, that a special thing that you have. And because of that, it will draw them to you. And you'll be able to minister to them. And you'll be able to heal them.
from? With the light, we can make it to the We have the truth. And we have God's promises. The Bible declares that we shall know the truth, and the truth shall set us free. And the truth into the dark has What am I saying this morning?
family. It's very easy for you to say, I believe God, when you have that salary. It's not a thing to say, I believe God, when you don't have that salary. So it's when you don't have that salary that you say, ah, I believe God, bless you when you believe God. Thank you. 
now ask the servants of God to pray for you. We are many. You will need a touch. And you will need the infilling. You will need healing. And as the servants of God, they do that. You will be healed. You will be delivered. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm going to ask the servants of God to pray for you. Amen of God. Servants of God. They are here. How do you come out? Yes, I want the servants of God to pray for the people. Not you, not pray for the people. Please, you can come, Frank, as well as God. Just you can come on and pray for you. 
spirit keeps showing you someone in here, you go up to the bush doctors, the older men, and you went to get a child, and it was sewn into your clothes. You are one of those who are, you have to grab something sewn into your clothes. And let me tell you something, those things cannot help you. They're actually opening the door to the death in their They tell you that if you're not, your culture says it will help because you are keeping a door open for the devil. And I want you to make this come here today. That's if you want help. If you don't want help and you want to keep it here. So if you want to help, come out here today and let's pray for you. That thing will not bring you promotion. It will not bring you increase like you want. Come out here today if you want to help. If you want to be free, if you want God to really help you, See all those channels, they don't work. They will take your money and give you false Some of you go and get rings, rings as a guard or protection. It won't help. Some of you get a bracelet, it won't help. Listen to me. If you want to be free, this is your opportunity. Don't let this go. Yes. 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 This is the, from the mount of Almighty. 
to God. You have to stop doubting. You cannot have one foot in the kingdom of God and one in the kingdom of darkness. It doesn't work like that. And God is not pleased with those things. You are opening yourself and your family to witchcraft and every evil thing. And then you are wondering why things are happening to you. And you are running to the men of God to help. But you are initiating things. Those are covenants. I'm giving one, one more cry, one more call for it. One more, one more. So you intend to keep it. Okay. Bishop, you're welcome. Praise the Lord. Listen, 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 listen. Praise the Lord.
in my house. I see him, he's a bamboo. We are in Scarborough. Apostle Bill is a black rock. When I call him, it was a prince. When I call his name, I'm not that. This is what we discussed among ourselves for the maintenance. That we are going to be using the three houses for the maintenance.
for the declare dominion. Yes. Going for dominion. Now remember, dominion is not going to come sit in your lap. You have to go for it. You have to fight for it. Today we declare and declare, kill me to Pedro. Kill me my mountain. Kill me every parish. Give us today what is coming to us, Lord. Let's dance and rejoice as we are going. Right? 
dance together, give as we rejoice together. Let's give God praise with gladness, with cheerfulness, with, with violence, all right, with expectation as we are going in the name of Jesus. So you will go, let's go ahead and just take the offering. Go ahead and take the offering from everybody. All right, something that will make us dance, something that will make us jump. A song that will make us jump, that will make us dance without restriction in the name of Jesus. Are you ready for it? So, you have our people, you know not dance to it now. Amen. You know, you're going to dance, you're going to forget. Alright? Forget about those things that have been prayed for, you know, God. They God not need to be seen for forgetfulness. There's a new day for you, a new season for you. On that God and your hand. Of the Lord my God. Come on, let's go. Hallelujah. We have a chosen generation called on to show his excellence. Bless our cities, O oh God. Bless our people, O oh God. 
in the name of Jesus, let your peace that passes on this earth envelop our nation, O oh God. Let violence no longer be heard in the land. In the name of Jesus, give beauty for ashes, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh, we give you praise for all that you've done this year. Thank you for what you've started, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Continue to have your way in your church, in your bride, in this nation. May it come together and work together to accomplish your goal, your agenda, your dream for this nation. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you for it, Father. Thank you for what you're doing, what you're yet to do. In Jesus' name. person that has helped to make this meeting a success, to, to make it happen. Some of you spoke to your pastors, some of you spoke to your friends, some of you spoke to your enemies. We want to say thank you on behalf of Almighty God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your sacrifice, thank you for your labor of love. Every person who played instruments, sang, I mean, we, we, call, we reach out to Bishop and the very this morning. For his team this morning, because the other team was not able to make it, and and this is the kind of sacrifice people have been making all the time. I 
trust God and the Father ministry and other churches will indeed come together and let's partner and take the high road together for Jesus. Amen. Praise God. We love you all. God bless you.